We now have uh, the weird and wonderful for you. Uh, this this next aeroplane, <laughs> as Dave Horton, who is the builder, out there with the uh, detail running down his back from his hat. This, believe it or not, is a scale aeroplane. It is the representation of a real aircraft. And there's some astounding um, uh, statistics associated with it. Built in 1928, um, when the uh, airmen wanted uh, a, a heavy bomber, this was the aircraft was produced. And it had a wingspan two feet longer than a jumbo jet of today. And of course, John, this was uh, the first attempt at an all-metal airframe, so um, massive amounts of massive amounts of aluminium while they sort of learned their trade to cross over between um, fruits and wires and fabric and uh, getting grips with a, uh, a monocoque structure in aluminium. And uh, I remember Dave telling me yesterday that full-size wheel still survives from this aircraft and it's 12 feet in diameter. I think they, I can't remember if they put it in Crossford or Hendon. Hendon, yeah. That's right. But um, they, uh, I, I seem to recall that full-size have got bracing wires on the wings as well, so I can't imagine how long they were. Dave's coming over to educate us on it now, I think. Music 10 Cosford. Over to the aeroplane. The power available in the engine. And it didn't go into production. Oh, right. But it's certainly a really unusual aircraft. And Dave Horton, long time builder and display pilot, has always built the unusual. And you can always guarantee that he's going to come off with a model that nobody else has done one way or another. And this thing is completely handheld. The engine is really hard to handle. The engine is from the uh, uh, propeller. It so everything else. And Dave, um, of course, is well known for his super light building techniques. So this model only weighs 85 tons, only kilos. And I remember now, Dave was reminding me, because this is some 25 years or more ago, that he took up the hobby as um, a, uh, a process for dexterity after get, getting over a uh, severe injury where his arm was severed when he was serving with a fire brigade in London. And he had his arm reattached and put on. So he principally took up the hobby to... Um, uh, yeah, to, to, to uh, gain more dexterity with his arm. 
and then you can tell them now that the case has pretty much built this model one-handed, so all, all the more credit.